I'm going to be working with our new mold farm animals. This is by redesigned by Prima. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com. And it's really cute. It has the uh, cow, the chicken, the pig, and a banner that says uh, farmhouse. And I'm going to show you how I use a uh, glue gun. And I'm just taking glue sticks and a hot glue gun and I'm filling in the mold. And I use a popsicle stick just to make sure I'm getting all the way around the edges and there's no air pockets. This is quite simple to do. These molds are food grade and they can uh, take up to 500 de degrees. And this is one of the quickest and easiest ways to use this mold, but you can also use paper clay. Some people use epoxy. So I found these frames for $3.74 at Hobby Lobby. It was a matching frames. So I'm only going to be using one, but I'm using our gray primer. It's going to cover the lettering. And at the same time, I like the color. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. And I'll put my other frame aside for another project. So just in the time of me painting that frame, my glue dried and hardened. And you could take a pair of scissors and cut off any uh, funky excess edges. Uh, they're easy to see if the glue um, went further than you need. So this is going to be my placement. And I'm just going to put some uh, Elmer's wood glue on a plate with a brush. As I'm only going to be needing a little bit on each piece. And you just want to brush your Elmer's glue all the way to the back of your mold. And you just want to make sure you're getting in all those nooks and crannies and all around the edge. And this is the same way you would do if you were putting down paper clay mold or even the um, epoxy. And you're going to do this to all the uh, animals and your banner. And you're going to place it on your board and allow that to dry. Once dry, I did another coat of the uh, gray primer. I probably could have skipped over this part. Um, I was just kind of figuring out what I was going to do as I was going along. And I did continue to paint the frame of the um, project as well. Now I'm taking joint compound. You can use uh, wood putty, um, anything like that. And I'm just filling in that gap where you can actually see where you placed your item down. It's just going to fill in that and give it a little bit more of a professional look. And once I get all my joint compound in, I'm going to allow that to dry. And before I allow it to dry, you do want to wipe all the excess joint compound back as much as you can and leaving it heavy in those creases. And now I'm going to give another coat of the gray primer. I'm going to take my salve and give a coat of salve just to kind of give a barrier. And then I'm going to add a wet coat of our chocolate. Wise Owl discon did con discontinue chocolate, but you can still get it through us in two ounce uh, sample sizes. You can find that at chocolateofancy.com. And I'm just wiping the chocolate back. You can use a uh, paper towel. You can use baby wipes if you need. And then I'm going to go in with some wet snow owl. And this is just our white. And do the same thing. And this is just going to give my project a lot of depth. It's kind of kind of give it a stone look. I'm going to take this little fan brush and now I'm just going to dry brush all over my um, cow, my pig, my chicken, my banner, and then a little bit here and there throughout the frame. And you end up with this really cute um, raised plaque that you can hang in your home. I 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateofancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, molds, or mesh stencils, chocolateofancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.